I did my project on how to teach a toddler to hit a ball off of a tee. The learner will be my three-year-old little brother, Nathaniel. He has been on a wee ball team for a couple of weeks now, but he has a speech delay, which in turn has presented communication problems. I will attempt to help him hit the ball and understand the process that is behind that motion. Because of his speech delay, Nathaniel is considered special needs and attends speech therapy at his preschool twice a week. His goal for this project is to be able to hit the ball off of the tee hard enough so that the ball will be in play. His task will ultimately be performed at the Wee Ball Games. Because he is young and considered special needs, I needed to take into consideration all of these learning characteristics. This is him at his Wee Ball game this weekend. In order to complete our goal, I will have to teach him how to hold the bat properly. In the article that I read by Devin Starks, he says to tell the child to hold the bat with their favorite hand and then put the other hand underneath. Then I have to show him where to hit the, which spot on the ball to aim. Starks explains the different cues you should tell the child in order to swing the bat properly. Favorite elbow up, bat in the air, and swing completely across your body. I intend to measure the progression of his batting by measuring how far he hits the ball as well as how many times it takes for him to hit the ball. I will provide prescriptive feedback, getting him to focus on the movement, and I also give him visual feedback because he learns best by watching others and then doing it. The foul line that I'm been talking about is the one right in front of home plate. They have to hit it past that in order for the ball to be in play. This is a video we took of Nathaniel trying to hit the bat, the ball. We told him to keep his eye on the ball. which he did very well. And this is an instructional video. Our goal as t-ball coaches is to let t-ballers have fun. That's what we want. We want them to love the game, enjoy playing it, and hopefully continue playing it for a long time. There's nothing more fun for those guys and girls than hitting a baseball. So we'd like them all to have some success. To do that, I like to just keep things basic with t-ballers. First thing is, let's check their grip. Let's make sure they're not so amped up and a little bit nervous that they're gripping that bat so tight that they can't make a nice athletic swing. So we want the bat kind of in the pads of their fingers. Just make sure they're loose and relaxed with their grip. The next thing I like to see is just get them balanced. Get them in a comfortable position, somewhat athletic, that's going to allow them to make this swing. Next thing, most important in all of hitting, really, is to watch the ball. We've got to get them concentrating on the ball, looking there. By them focusing their eyes on the ball, we've got a chance for the bat and the barrel to make that contact. And then the last thing is just let them swing hard. Get them aggressive. Let them have fun. A swinging bat is a dangerous bat and if we get them in the right position to start line them up near the tee and let them rip at it make contact run the first base and have a good time playing the game of baseball if i begin to see progress i will modify the instruction by focusing more on correcting the form of his swing and the power behind the swing if his goals are not met, I will mod modify them and make them more attainable, such as focusing on simply hitting the ball. If I'm not monitoring progress, modifications in my plan, changes will have to be made in order to see some, of the, some kind of progress. If he's not hitting the ball the first time or if he's not hitting past the line, then I have to find out why he's doing that and what I can do to fix that. And these are my resources.